In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to apply nonlinear transformation. Once you have placed a sufficient number of points, as you can see here, we have up to 31 points, which have been placed all over the, uh, the picture to have an accurate uh, registration. Uh, by the way, when you look at the output uh, window of uh, IC, you will see all the transformations and information related to this transformation. Once you have placed enough points, and you think you are accurately uh, organized, you can press the stop button. It will give you this uh, window telling you that ev eventually you would need to do nonlinear transformation. You can press play OK and then in this overlay uh, window this is a rigid transformation where you can adjust the visualization of every single point and what we can see here for example using the quantum dots is that although they are overall well aligned in the center at the periphery we can see that the overlay is not perfect this is due to the fact that the, in the uh, section has been transforming non-linearly under the electron beam and in correspondence to the light microscopy picture so what you can do for that is that you can then go to the easy claim window go to the non-rigid 2D or 3D you can show the grid deformation and start the plugin again without changing anything. Once you have done that, you update the transformation and, it, and let it calculate it. What will happen then is that it will transform your light, micro your light microscopy and show you a grid illustrating the nonlinear transformation. Here, as you can see, we have nonlinear destruction, as while well. here we have rather straightforward ones and here we also have some constrictions of the light microscopy at the two corners so this is due to the electron beam that has deformed the section now it's currently calculating the transformation of the light microscopy itself once this will be done we can press stop and it will apply this grid transformation to the light microscopy and create an overlay This might take a while and take a while. So the non-rigid transformation has been applied to the light microscopy, and when we press the as we can see here we have some deformation all around in the transmitted light channel. When we just press Press, uh, press stop, it will create the automatic overlay where we can see already that here in the corner the image has been shrunk to fit better to the points. When we just then go and uh, adjust display windows, we can already see that the quantum dots that were not fitting well at the periphery, like in here, if we lock them together again to zoom in both directions at the same time, you can see that those points which were rigidly transformed were not matching and they are now matching much better. You should pay attention when you're, when you're using nonlinear transformation. For example, if you have this nonlinear transformation and you miss assign one point, let's say for example that you will misalign the following point here and say like this spot here corresponds to this fluorescent spot. As you can see already here, in show the difference in position, we have some information that the transformation is not linear. If you update the transformation, it will apply the non-rigid transformation also on this point. And here you will have artifactual uh, assignment of the point. So when you use the non-linear transformation, always be very careful with the deformation you are applying. As you can see, the grid is already much strongly more, uh, much more strongly deformed.
and now if we try to stop the plugin the new image that has been created which can be linked to the yellow one and also to the grid which is here we can lock them all together if we just display the fluorescence on this particular section this particular location what we will see here by improving the quantum dot is that we have some shift the fluorescence which is here does not correspond to any fluorescent spot this one which was supposed to correspond to the right one and which was correctly assigned here is no longer correctly assigned and this fluorescence is deformed so using the nonlinear transformation can be problematic and can create artifactual information always use with care